Hi guys, this is Lena at GradeLink again. Thanks for joining me for the financial webinar video series. This is video 10 in our series, and over the next few videos, we're going to start talking about pay plans. Pay plans in GradeLink are what allow you to place student on payment schedules. Uh, maybe they're making installment payments for tuition rates, uh, for example, for tuition. Um, there may be other fees that they're paying down over time, and uh, you can put those on a pay plan as well. Uh, but the next few videos, we're going to talk all about how to set up payment schedules and then how to place particular students onto a payment schedule for a particular fee. So let's jump in. Uh, we've been setting up the fee types. After you have the fee type set up, you can go to the Pay Plans button, which is just to the right of the Fees Types button. Once I click on Pay Plans, I can see any previous payment plans that I have set up. In this case, it looks like I have some set up from the last school year. And so what I need to do now is set up a new pay plan for the next school year. So on the right, I'm going to click in the Session drop down menu and select the appropriate year. In the title box, I want to put the title of the payment schedule. So a common example would be a 10 month pay plan. Next, I'm going to choose the first bill on date. And so let's say that for the 2014-2015 school year, the first bill on date is going to be around the end of August. Maybe I want to bill it on the 25th because I expect parents to pay it by September 1st, but I want to notify them as to the fact that they have an upcoming charge ahead of the due date. And so I might uh, make the first charge at the end of August. And then the description prefix is just to describe which payment uh, or which charge this is. So in this case, this is the September charge. I might just leave it at September. And then I come to the amount percentage column. What you want to put in here is actually the percentage of the total amount that will be due for this particular payment. So I'm setting up a 10-month pay plan right now. So if I'm going to have 10 of these charges, I might want to make the first one 10%. You need to put it in like this with a decimal and two spaces after the decimal. Do not put in a percentage sign. It will not accept it if you do. So just put in the number itself. Then I'm going to repeat this for my next charge. Might be around the end of September. And this is going to be for October. And again, it's going to be 10% of the bill. So um, what this means is that this is not something that's applied to a particular student at this point. We're just setting up a schedule and any student might be on this schedule or they might be on a different schedule or they might not be on any schedule at all. So this is a generic payment schedule. All I'm doing in here is putting in the dates that I want various charges to trigger. So around the end of October I want to maybe charge for November and maybe I want to charge 10% of the bill. Then I would just keep going down the line here. November, around the end of November, I'm going to charge for December. I'm going to charge 10%. So all it's going to do is it's going to um, portion this 
this up based on what I have in these boxes. Around the end of January, I'm going to charge for February. Okay, so you can kind of start to see here the idea of what what I'm doing. I put 2014, I meant 2015. So watch out that it's on the correct year. And finally, around the end of May of 2015, I'm going to charge for the last payment to cover June. And then I would just click this Save button in gray, the bottom of the page. And here I see my 2014-2015 10 month pay plan is available to me now. Okay, so I've made one payment schedule. I'm gonna go ahead and make an additional one. And this one is going to be my quarterly pay plan. And what I might do is bill on the end of August for my quarter one. And if I'm going to be charging four times over the course of the year, probably want to put in 25% on the first charge. Maybe at some point in October, for example, I might charge for uh, quarter two. 25% of the total amount that the student will pay. And my last one, I suppose I'll put in April. Got to make sure I have the year correct. Type the title. Now, th these titles under the description prefix will display to parents. So you want to make a, use a title that is going to make sense. So, for example, they might see tuition, and then it'll say quarter four next to the word tuition so that they know um, which time period it's covering or what portion of tuition it's covering. Again, now I've had, now that I have this set up, I would just click Save. And I can see it here as an option. Again, you see that there's these asterisks under the session search bar. We've seen this before. Um, you can always filter to narrow your view a little bit so I can just look at the pay plans I have set up for 2014-2015. And I have a couple available to me. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're going to talk about how to apply a student onto a particular pay plan and how to indicate what they will be charged on that pay plan. Thanks for watching.